Not yet. Here we go. Here we go. We're live. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Build It Through Culture Live. It is Thursday night, so it must be live, right? So we go every two weeks here. Uh, Steph and I come here, we'll have a little entertainment, have a little fun, talk about culture, because this is Build It Through Culture Live. So we're talking about building using culture. So building your business, building your organization, building your family, whatever it is you want to build, culture is the answer because culture is the thing that when everybody understands what it is, when they enter your organization, they go, I know what this is, and they know how to behave. They know how to act. So I am Rob Genovese. I am the owner of Unleash My Beast brand, and we are a brand strategy company, and we create brand strategy that attracts clients. So you don't have to chase them down anymore because nobody likes to do that. Nobody wants to pitch. Nobody wants to sell. Also, I am for Master Networks, Regional Director of New Jersey. I am Area Director for Rockland County, New York. We are building amazing networks across the country uh, with so many great people across the country. Uh, just wonderful, wonderful organization that has given me so much. And so I want to pass it over to my culture collaborator, Steph Belafato, to introduce herself. Hey, guys. Stephanie Belafato here. Um, so glad to be here with you guys tonight. Uh, I obviously am Stephanie Belafato, and I am a the Carmel New York chapter president as well as an area director, and I represent ServPro. We're your local disaster recovery specialist, so we clean up all kinds of disasters, fire, water, mold, biohazard, you name it. We got you. We'll take care of it for you. But, um, hey, I want to give a big shout out to my culture collaborator because we were at Connect just a few weeks ago, and he was on the main stage. So if all of you guys missed that, anybody that might have missed that, you got to come back to Connect 2023. And I'm sure there may be snippets and recordings of that. And he also received the Presidential Award. So a big shout out woo -woo, to my pal, Rob. And listen to the crickets. See, oh, there's no cares. crickets. <laughs> guys, I want to hear stuff in the chat. For those of you that were at Connect, put some information in there about Connect. Hey, hey, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Always number one. Yeah. Always. Her and Debbie Mann usually. Tina Malum. Woo, Tina. Tina in the house. Hey, Tina. So Tina and I have been talking, well, via message today. I'm heading down to her neck of the woods Saturday. We're heading down to Nashville, Ann and I. So we're going to take in a little local color down there. Tina's giving me some pointers on what to hit and where to go. So that'll be cool. Thank you, Tina. Awesome. 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 And in true Nashville pride, <laughs> Dave has a howdy, y'all. Dave thinks he's from there, I guess. <laughs> hey, Dave. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Barry Dorfman. Howdy. Howdy, Barry. You know how our Southern friends really influence us up in here in New York. You know, we used to be like, hey, how you doing? Huh? How you doing? <laughs> Except if you're Italian. But Barry's like, howdy. Dave's like, howdy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Dave, is this a... Is oh, a hot thing? chicken sandwich. That's a it's it's a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. So if you've never had a Nashville hot chicken sandwich, and I, Tina and I have talked, Tina Melham and I have talked about this before. That's where they're famous is in Nashville, and you can go all over Nashville and get a hot chicken sandwich. It is so good. It's like this spicy sauce that they put on this fried chicken with coleslaw and pickles and it's oh it's so yummy i'm so and hungry those, I, didn't, I didn't have dinner yet i know I me either little, <laughs> i had a little something to hold me so i'm like a hot chicken <laughs> <Yeah>. sandwich <laughs> it's really really good so uh thank you tina sorry tina i didn't get back to you earlier it's been a whirlwind of meetings today um so i still have to get back to the messaging but the, hopefully we're going to talk tomorrow i hope so thank you Dave Hauser says, incredible. So, okay, I guess I got to have a hot chicken sandwich when I get down there. A hot Nashville. <laughs> burn your Nashville, face. Nashville hot. Nashville no, hot. I don't like the burn your face <laughs> off one. Like, there's different levels of hot. I want to actually be able to taste what I'm eating. So, you <laughs> have this. to just ask them, how <laughs> hot is it? No, I don't know. Is this a trend? Right? She's like, I'm making dinner, which is why I'm not commenting so much. So, she hasn't eaten either. Has anybody eaten dinner yet? Like, are you guys for going dinner to pop on our live? We really appreciate that. But, you know, eat, please. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to give I want to give Rob another really? shout out. He was on the main stage at Connect talking about branding. So for those of you that are in this room 
or if you watch this on the replay and you need help with your branding, Rob's the guy to talk to. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that stuff a lot. And, you know, look, anybody who knows me, is, I don't do anything for recognition. I couldn't really give a rip about awards. I appreciate awards. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm always adding value to people. And, and that's what I do. So my reward, if anybody want to give me an award or reward, tell me that I helped you. Like, seriously, if I helped in some way, I just like to hear that. So I know that what I'm doing is actually making some kind of impact in the world. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hey, Alicia, how you doing? Hey, Alicia. Awesome. So, awesome. And for those of you celebrating, happy Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Uh, we have, I so downstairs on the stove, I don't cook. Everybody, everybody knows I don't cook. I don't food prep. I don't even like the kitchen. I like to pass through the kitchen to, to go eat sometimes. But there's a, there's a big, uh, big, what do you call it? Big saucepan, big pot full of uh, ground beef, taco meat, waiting for me to put together my taco when we're done here. So I'm <laughs> celebrating in the and a only way us Americans can is by eating tacos. Are you, are you going to have a margarita with those tacos or a mojito? I think At I least. got a Corona downstairs. I maybe. Oh, have okay. Well, that's here. good enough, I guess. Right. <laughs> so, guys, hey, let us know what you're drinking tonight for your Cinco de Mayo celebration, and we want to thank you for celebrating that with us and yeah. being here with us tonight. And hey, if you haven't already shared this to your Facebook page, please do that. It gives it gives us legs and a longer reach, so that other people who haven't experienced Master Networks. Um, can get a little taste of who we are and what we do here. Awesome. We got more people popping in. Hey, Elena, good to see oh, you. Elena. Oh, Elena. New Hampshire is terrible for service. I did share you, though. Thank you. Ah, uh, Elena. Awesome. She's awesome. She Love has Elena. amazing energy. So if you guys That's haven't awesome. had a face-to-face -face with her, she always has this amazing smile on her face. That's what I was just saying this morning. I saw her in a meeting. I said, we could have, or maybe it was yesterday. That there should be a smile off. I think she'd take the first prize every single time. But always I, hear, always, I hear that other chapters are trying to recruit her just for the energy. Yeah, she has amazing, she really does have amazing energy. Oh, I see the bow tie guy. Woo -woo. Hey, Willie. Good to see you, Willie. Mr. Thanks Willie Tolbert, uh, the culture, he who won the culture keeper award this year. That's right. That's right. So, so congratulations to Willie as well. Shout out Rachel, to Willie for the culture. Willie, Steph, you won it last year, didn't you? Yeah, so did you, Rob. What, yeah, well, whatever. Uh, yeah, but you guys won it. My wife won it uh, this year as well. Yes. A bunch, bunch of people across the region win it. Debbie Mann from New Jersey. Um, yeah. She won it. Just f people who fantastically keep the culture, but naturally, these are people, some of them, Right from when the time they got in, you know, sometimes when I talk to Tina, Tina Campbell, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I just met somebody brand new today. And I think they're they seem to really be of the culture. And I don't like to jinx it or anything, but I'll always say to her, just have you talked to so and so yet? And Rachel yeah. was one of those people early on. I'm like, I, I told Tina, I'm like, you, you got to talk to this girl because she's just totally of the culture. And I was yeah, like, so, <laughs> so a shout out to Rachel mm -hmm. and to Anne and to Willie and to Debbie yep. Mann, yep. to all the Culture Keeper Award winners. Across Wait, Dave Hauser won, didn't he? Didn't Dave Hauser win for Connecticut? Dave, did you win for Connecticut? You let us know. I think he did. Yeah, you got to let us know, Dave. I, I think so. I'm not sure. Connecticut seems so far away from me that I apologize, but you let us know. And meanwhile, we're going to see um, Mary Ellen's the only one who shared so far. Oh, we got two who shared. Marilyn's drinking apple juice. Okay. <laughs> Marilyn spiked with anything? Yeah, maybe, right. maybe not. Don't tell. Dave's drinking water. I'm a water guy. Who's got the water? Uh, well, oh. I'm drinking tea, of course, because I'm always drinking tea. And of course, you know, I have to give a shout out to my girl, Sammy Vecchiola, who made me this mug. She didn't just buy this for me. She made it for yeah. me. And of course, it has my infamous saying, we don't just do business here together. We do life together. It's right there in the bottom in case you didn't catch it. There that. you go. There you go. Steph coined that phrase. And, you know, here's a little sneaky peeky. But um, for when we get in person here, I had these pens made up. These Master Networks Tri-State Region pens. And look what we have here at the bottom. We don't just do woo, woo. We do life together. I, I love it. Steph coined that. So I had to immortalize it on a pen. So when I see you all, um, we're going to be giving those out. So you could always be reminded that it is the truth for sure. 
Maryland says awesome. no alcohol. No alcohol. That's okay. You don't yeah, have it doesn't to have to be alcohol. alcohol. You don't have to drink alcohol to have a good time. No, it's what, whatever you're good with, whatever yeah. you want to drink. Oh, oh Rachel said, yes, said Dave yes, Dave did. He did. <laughs> Repping in Connecticut. All right. So awesome. So you, these are people that far and away represent the culture. And, you know, for those of you who are still getting acquainted with the culture, the culture is reinforced by the core values, the core values of relationships, constant improvement, contribution, accountability, and results. And a lot of these people, they came in the door amplifying those things. Their behaviors were already like that. So when I say people are of the culture, it means that we didn't have to like transform them into culture keepers. Right, like, there they, were. Right. <laughs> they already embody that because they of who they are. Yeah, right? absolutely. Absolutely. So, so what are we talking about today? Uh, well, before we get to that, I want to know how many of you shared this to your page. So if you shared it to your page, please put it in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and if you haven't shared it to your page, share it to your page now. Share it now. Share it. That's the way we get the word out. And by the way, uh, thanks to you all and everybody who tuned in last episode when we were live from Connect down in Dallas, Texas. Steph and I were reviewing some of the metrics. It is the highest performing video on the Master Networks Inc. page by far, except for except for one video. But anyway, the highest performing live we've done so far was live from Connect. We had tons of engagement. Um, there, there was a lot, you know, just a lot of minutes watched by people, uh, just off the charts with it. The only, the only thing that did better was, and I'm kind of proud of it, and we should give him a shout out too, was the uh, video from our New Year's Eve kickoff that happened in March. Yeah, here in our region, here in the New York, Connecticut, uh, New Jersey region. So, you know. Um, shout out to all all of you and a shout out to everyone that's visiting us from where wherever you are. You can also put that in the chat, too. Where are you coming to us from? Eh, there's Willie. New York, New Jersey. All right. Jersey. Jersey. Got that Jersey pride. Welcome, I see Willie. PA in the house, too, Rob. P oh, my gosh. My friend Lulu. Hey, Lulu. Lulu thank you for nice being you. here. That's what Lulu also won the Culture Keeper Award. Ooh, Actually, congratulations, Lulu. Congratulations, Lulu. She's wonderful. You got to talk to Lulu. If nothing else, just so you can say, I have a friend named Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Lulu, right? Yeah, she's great. <laughs> Tina, we know where Tina's come from. Nashville. I can't wait. I can't wait to go down there. It's going to be great. Yeah. It'll be great. Um, but as I was saying, you know, you got to like this Master Networks Inc. page. If you don't already like it or follow it, do that now um, because this is where you get wind of all the great stuff that's coming out. Um, there's going to be more stuff in the future as they put out more and more content as we contribute. And by the way, this thing that Steph and I do, um, you know, Master Networks, HQ didn't come to us and said, hey, will you guys do a live and put it on the page? No, we wanted to do this just because we wanted to get out there the conversations we had surrounding culture and how it's positively impacted everything we do. And so we uh, asked them if they would host it on their page and they agreed. Thank you, Renee Pride. Um, yes. She was helpful and instrumental in helping us get that done. Uh, but, you know, we want to bring people to the Master Networks Inc. page because there's so much good stuff coming out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And a big shout out to Renee Pride. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't know Renee, you should know Renee. She is an amazing individual. And, um, you know, she really gave Rob and I the opportunity. We, you know, that wasn't our original goal was to, you know, just do it on Facebook. And, and you know, she was like, hey, would you do it here? Sure. We would love the opportunity to do it. So a big shout out to Renee. Yeah. She, she is, um, she's such a wonderful human. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great leader. Uh, yes. Great thought process. She just thinks at a, a very high level. I appreciate her so much. And, um, you know, we want to drive uh, people to this page because, like I said, a lot of content is coming out. Um, but I was going to say something else. In the meanwhile, Eugene coming in from New Jersey. And woo, Jay woo. Represented. Gene, Gene, better share it to your page, Gene. Your page. Alicia from Providence, Rhode Island. Yes, Rhode Island, another one of my favorite places to go yeah. to. Um, Pro Rhode Island is just it's pretty cool. My daughter went for a, a semester out at URI, so we spent a little bit of time out there. Barry's coming in from Nyack, New York, Rivertown. There you go. Oh my gosh, look at this, Lulu. You're originally from Nyack. Oh my goodness, Lulu. I didn't know that. 
you know what? Lulu should come up for our golf outing. Oh. So for those of you that don't know, I'm going to spill it right here. And uh, I don't know, Rob, maybe you can even put like the link in, or something in the, in the down below. On June 20th in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut region, we're having our second annual golf outing. And it's not just any golf outing. We're having a dinner afterwards with a live band. And there's going to be plenty of things to do, even if you're not a golfer. I'm not a golfer. I can't golf. But I'll be there volunteering during the day while the golfers are having a great time. I'll be probably tooling around a golf cart like I was last year, taking a lot of photos and doing those kinds of things and helping people register and get, get into it. So this is happening June 20th. Um, this was an epic event last year, yeah. and it's going to be even bigger this year. <laughs> um, and look. Hey, Alicia Harry, registered. Awesome. There you go, Alicia. Yeah, I talked to her this morning about yeah. it. So, you know, look, Barry Dorfman, who's the um, executive director of, the, uh, of our community council, he puts on this event. It's a great event along with the whole team. They do an amazing job and, and it allows us funds for our, um, for the, for the. The Rockland community fund, right. To, to be right. To about grants to members who want to contribute to a specific charity. Correct. Right. Yeah. The, the charities that are near and dear to our hearts. Right. So it's a great thing. We had such a blast just last year. We had, I think it was over 80 golfers and yeah. 250 people at the dinner. It was so insane. It guys. Was insane with fun. Yeah. So if you want to participate, please, please. Um, I'm sure one of the people on this uh, on this call right now, on this live, can put the information with the link in the chat for all of you. And if you have any questions, yeah. reach out to any one of us in this region, and we're, we'll be happy to answer those for you. And that's part of the culture. You know, one of the core values is contribution. So what do we, contribution is, you know, what are you giving? What are you giving to others? What do you contribute? What do you bring to the table? But when it comes to the organization being very service oriented, it's, you know, what are we giving back? So what do we contribute to the communities we're a part of? And, you know, this was a vision of Tina Campbell's a long time ago. And then Barry Dorfman and his crew, along with Mary Upton, Chris Janowski, um, executing this to the level, to her vision, to be able to, you know, have this fund that can, we can disperse monies to different charities. Right. Um, as, as, um, as, you know, members come up with ones that they, they want to uh, help out. So it's just a wonderful organization. So um, contribution is huge in what we do here. So appreciate everybody who's behind that. Yeah. So we want to thank you all for that. Yeah. But um, so yeah, Lulu, it's more than fun. It was epic. And this, we have people. And this one is going to be. Epicer, right. Epicer. Rob coined that phrase for this year. He said, oh, well, last year was epic. This year is going to be epicer, right? So, yeah. so you all know, we already have people that are coming up here from Nashville and from Texas to be Ooh. part of that event. So you want to be one of those people too. Yeah. Um, but we need to talk about like what we're talking about tonight, right? We're we talk about, so, so this went out. Um, who's paying attention? Rachel, don't answer. But who is paying attention? <laughs> now, it's been out on social media a little bit. If you know what tonight's topic is, please tell us in the comments. We want to know if you've been paying attention. Um, if you're seeing the graphic, if you're seeing the promotion of it, tell us and we'll give you um, a prize of applause. <laughs> How about that? That's right. That's a, those are our prizes. We'll give you a big shout out if you get it right. Rachel's Rachel laughing. Right? Every question we ask. So Rachel, you, you're not included. I'm sorry. You're disqualified. From you're this right. round. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. First one to say it. Barry Dorfman's Woo -woo, Barry, we give you applause. We give yeah. you applause. Rob, you got to applaud him. Come on. That's Very good, name. Barry. Very good. Barry's been paying attention. That's right. So we're talking about intentional networking. So tell, tell them, Steph, what are we talking about? What does this mean? So listen, you know, we just came off of Connect and, and Rob and I learned a whole lot of stuff. So, you know, we want to know, you know, um, 
whose message you connect with, who are you drawn to that will help you up level either personally or professionally. So put some of that information. Let us know in the chat. We want to know who's going to help you up level both in your personal life and professionally to get you where, where your goal is, right? To get you to your goal. Yeah. Yeah. The whole idea behind networking, most people know, you know, you go out and you just meet people, right? That's how you network. That's what networking is. What do you say? Oh, you meet people, right? You build your network, your network of people. Just meet tons of people. And while I, I respect that, because that is initially what we think, it really goes farther than that. It's It can be much more intentional. And we, we were talking about this earlier, right? It was it was when people first start networking, it's how many face-to-faces can I do? How many people can I meet? I'm talking to 10, 20 people a week. And I'm not putting that down. What I'm saying is that's a good start. But at a certain point, you want to be able to build the network that you need to accomplish what it is you set out to do. So you have to be a little bit more intentional about it. And when I got into mess, excuse me, into master networks, and I was telling you that I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know anybody. Nobody knew me. All right. Contrary to popular belief, I didn't know anybody. (laughs) I would go to meetings and I'd just be like, Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? And start to do face to faces. But then I would listen and I would hear certain people's names popping up over and over and over again. And I'm like, who's this Maggie person? Who, who is that? You know, who's this Sammy person? You know, because all the only people I knew were Pasquale Palumbo. Thank God for Pasquale. He's the guy who I met one night, total stranger. We became friends at an event. He invited me. I showed up three mornings later only because I liked him. Otherwise, I wasn't coming to some another networking meeting where I got to meet more people. But uh, thank God for him. So anyway, I knew him a little bit. And I knew Tina Campbell. I got to know her quicker and some of the people in my group. But outside of that, I didn't know. So I thought, oh, I need to build a network fast because I was like, I'm the guy who's like, I'm running out of time. I need to go. Right. 50. I got a new business. I need to. I only got, you know, maybe 20 good years on this earth. (laughs) I'm lucky. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. You have a whole lot more than that. Years. Right. (laughs) I know. I'm I'm. Look, I'm hedging my bets here. I'm going, okay, I got 20. <laughs> I know I got 40, but I, in my mind, I got to keep it at 20. So I'm going to meet with the movers and shakers. So I drove an hour to Brewster, wherever the heck that is, to meet this Maggie person, hoping she would be there in the chapter meeting. This was when we were in person. And she didn't know that at the time, but I was like, hey, I introduced myself. I said, would you happen to have 15 minutes after the meeting? She said, sure. She was like, who's this guy? And we sat down for a half hour and we talked. It's one of my good friends today. But she was a mover and shaker. Same thing with Sammy. Who's this Sammy person? Yeah. Who is this guy, Sammy? Everybody keeps talking about, right? <laughs> Find out Sammy was a woman. And I reached out to her <laughs> and said, hey, could we do a face-to-face? So she goes like this. I love Sammy. Me too. She, so I'm waiting in Starbucks for her because I'm always early. And she was on time. She comes over and, you know, you know who you're waiting for, right? So I wait. Right. She comes over and she sits down. She goes like this. She goes, hi. I go, hey, how you doing? She goes, good, good. She, she goes with a big smile. She goes, so tell me, why did you want to meet with me? And I'm like, I'm like, look, I'm like, um, you're Sammy. Just like that. And she put a big smile on her face. I go, everybody knows who you are. I wanted to get to know you too. Yeah. And we've been friends ever since. So yeah. I was intentional, you know, not that other people are more important or have more value than others, but I thought if I'm going to make my network work for me down the road, I may as well get in with the people who are moving and shaking. Well, and if you keep hearing the same names over and over and people talking about this same person, aren't you intrigued? I don't, I know I am. I'm like, oh, you had a face-to-face? You And you start hearing like, oh, I had a face-to-face with this person. You really got to get to know this person. Oh my goodness, what a story, right? right. Like you got to hear their story. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's intriguing. So, guys, I really want to hear in the chat, you know, whose message do you connect with? Who are you drawn to? What kind of person are they? And and are, are will they help you up level in your business or personally? Put some comments in the chat and let us know, you know, um, And again, Rob and I talk about this all the time, right? It's not just uh, about aligning yourself with the people that could feed you business. 
yeah. because you know your inner circle of people they're they're really helping you grow right they're they're providing you with some knowledge and sharing things that that they have had success in that maybe you could have success in in your business and in doing that you could be earning a higher income you could be earning more money yeah and you know it's interesting you talk about the money part and the, the referrals and everything and i know people get into networking for referrals so the natural logical step is who can give me business? Yeah. And that is, that's a dangerous place to be. Because anybody can. Anybody can, right? But what you're also saying is, I'm going to find the people that I can get something out of. Right. Instead you know? of give something to. Yeah. Provide something to. I mean, I think it, it, the, the only thing that I did have going for me when I started networking in understanding something was that I was going to, no matter who I met with, I was going to help them with branding in some way, like through the messaging, through your message, you know, all that part of it, um, regardless of whether or not they even think they want to hire me or refer me or whatever. Right. I had, I, I would just give with no expectation of return. Right. And I think that's the one thing that I, I did right because it never made me feel like this isn't working. I was just looking for good people. Yeah. 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 And I think the part of the second part of that is after I, I started kind of <laughs> spearing for the people who are movers and shakers and, you know, it's well, who, like you're saying, who are you vibing with? So if I didn't hear a name, I, well, I, I, I would be in a chapter meeting, I'd be in a meeting and I would just be like, I like what that person had to say, whether it was in a breakout, maybe something to do with the training tidbit, or maybe I just liked the way they delivered their soundbite, maybe with confidence. And I would, I would tune into the people who seem to have something on the ball. Like, yeah. Or I just thought, I like what they said. So I'm going to reach out to them. And I would do that. And, and usually, you know, you kind of know who you're drawn to. Like, if you feel you're drawn to somebody, you need to reach out to that person because there could be like a really good connection there. And again, with no aforethought of, can I get business from this person? That is not the point here. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, the funny part is, too, and and even sometimes in some smaller meetings, we'll ask a prompted question about you on a personal level so that we can all get to know each other better. And sometimes it's the littlest thing like, oh, hey, what's your, you know, uh, we did in one meeting, like, what's your favorite season and why? Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For me, it's summer because I love the beach, right? Those are the people, you know, I, you know, so when you share some of those kinds of things with people or when you do a showcase and share some personal things about yourself and other people that are watching are interested in the same things you're interested in, you already have something in common, right? Build on that common interest. It's instant. And I love right. what Barry says here. I'm drawn to people that give back to the community they live in playing and work with that expectation. About. Barry is one of the ultimate community minded people that I've ever met. So yeah. while I'm not naturally that way, I'm not particularly drawn to that. I mean, I do things that help give back, but I'm more of kind of like the support people, but people like Barry who are very intentional about that. And he's drawn to that. Barry is, so we, we joke that Barry is the community person, the guy who sits on charitable boards and is always giving and volunteering and doing all that. Oh, and by the way, he he also masquerades as an insurance person sometimes. Right, <laughs> like, right, like right. Because in between, you know, on his lunch break, you know, right? It, it's like it's like that because you know he does Meals on Wheels. He does all these things in his community to help the people in his community, and it's amazing. Right. So he's drawn to people like if he meets somebody right who says, "Oh, you know, I'm I, I'm whatever they draw they." are part of some community outreach or they're on the board of a charity or anything. If they allude to that barrier knows in connection, this is, this is my kind of person. This is a person that I need to network with, right? Because maybe there's something we can do together, right? right. Not, 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 not for business, something to do together that will give back. And then who knows? He's thinking, well, maybe down the road, if they ever know somebody who needs insurance, they'll think of me. That's the idea. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And, and that's the beauty of that. Yeah. Right. Elena is just like positive energy. I'm in. Like if you get positive energy, you're for Elena. She just wants you in her network because positive. And I agree. 
Like I'm big about that. And I got to tell you, I heard she's going to be in my area doing a fundraiser, right? She's going to be doing angel card readings too at this fundraiser. So I'm hoping that I can come and see her there. I'm really going to make every effort to be there, Elena, just so you know. Awesome. Uh, I'll definitely be catching Elena at the golf outing. She did say publicly she's coming down from New Hampshire for the golf outing. So good move there. Can't wait to see her there. Give her a big hug. Oh, well, I wonder how many states we'll have. Ooh, Maggie's in the house. Hey, Maggie. Ooh, ooh. Hey, Mag. But Steph, it's 731. Oh, my God. It's that time. We have so much fun here. We uh-huh. totally forget what time it is. <laughs> Watching the clock. <laughs> hey, guys, who do you think is our special guest tonight? Put it in the chat. Let's yep. see who can get it first. Right. So think about what we're talking <clears throat> about here. Networking with intention, being intentional about building your network. It is something you build. It's not like, you know, it's just you you don't join master networks and automatically get a network. You have to build it. So we want to know who do you think is going to be the surprise guest? It could be anybody, honestly. Um, You know, Maggie's saying Gene could be Gene. Could be Gene. Dave Hauser could be Barry. that'd That'd be a great guest. Could be Barry is in Rockland County. I, I said this to Barry one time. I was like, I, you've got to be the biggest networker in Rockland because everybody yeah. knows you. And he goes, he's so funny. He goes, he goes, yeah, thanks. But, but no, he goes, I think I'm number two though. <laughs> 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 so yeah, he, he is. is super he Dave. Is very well known. Could be Super Dave. Could be Super could Dave. Could be Willie. Could, could be, be Willie. Willie. Oh, Elena. Could be Elena. Ooh. I mean, we're talking about great people here who are of the culture who do great networking who are building great networks so um maybe but maybe we should just bring that person on and get rid of all the the, the, the yeah guessing. i think it's time i think bring it's time on. let's just bring this person on. Bring on who do we have in the house welcome to build it through culture live we have mr dave hauser how you Woo-woo. doing dave? dave super dave for those that don't dave. know gene, <laughs> gene knew Gene, <laughs> she knows everything. Gene got about it. it. Gene got it. <laughs> Welcome, Dave Hauser, to Built It Through Culture Live. So glad you could join us. You know what we're talking about here. We're talking about networking with intention. And when Steph and I were talking about this topic, it wasn't that long ago either. We just kind of, you know, when Steph, got, Steph and I get to talking, yeah. we're like, hey, that would be a great topic for Built It Through Culture Live. And um, we were going like, who should we bring on? And I'm like, we need to bring out Dave Hauser. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes. It's like, absolutely. He just need to network more. <laughs> we do a lot of networking. What are you kidding? And, and <laughs> look, while, while you're here, before we get into this deep, we want to give you a great big congratulations on your Culture Keeper Award. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. It's a great award to receive because especially for us on this program you know we're all about the culture so we appreciate anybody who contributes to it so thank you for all you do thank you thanks for having me and we want to know so you know we're talking about networking with intention intentional networking and you know we've talked about this kind of stuff before and um you know i have this kind of running joke in master networks that um you know dave hauser is one of the most effective networkers who nobody knows what he does yep (laughs) yep and it's it's a high high compliment because there are people who who tell you what they do and they still can't seem to build a network that's effective, right? That that kind of gets them what they need. Talk to us about intentional networking. So I'll give you an, a funny story. When um, COVID first hit, um, I had no idea what master, I was still relatively new to master networks, but now everybody's on Zoom. I had no idea how I'm going to network. Um, so I go to a meeting and <laughs> I thought I made a good connection with one of the people in the meeting. You know, we had a face-to-face right after that meeting. I thought we got along really great. great. So I'm like, I'm going to jump on this guy's calendar and we're going to have another face-to-face next week. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be great. This is going to be what's going to launch my new business. (laughs) This is it. And uh, so, you know, set up the meeting, sign in. And basically it was like, what Sammy asked you and it, the meeting lasted five minutes, Ooh. five minutes, because I realized 
I went into this meeting without having a real purpose behind it. Mm. Um, I was just, I was going in to shoot the crap and not be like, like you guys are talking about not being intentional with it and not having like something to talk about. Like I wanted to talk about my business, but I ended up just rambling on about something. So that's the, that was the first lesson within the first two weeks of uh, COVID hitting. Always have, always have a point to what, why you're meeting. Look at that. So you crashed and burned your first. And if you're going to just have a meeting to shoot the breeze, then say that that's yeah, what yeah. it is. Let's yeah. just let's just play catch up. Right. And how are you and how are things going? Because then at least, you know, right? no, no, no. Because the second meeting was with Rick Gabrielli and he and I got to talking and we, we share a lot of things in common. And that guy made me cry. <laughs> so so um not not a good start to my networking <laughs> experience. <laughs> like this is gonna be harder than I thought. What I know, happened that like, he made you cry, Dave? Uh, we were just talking about things that we shared in common, um, some common commonalities of our personal lives. Well, yeah. Rick has a way of doing that to you. He has a way of yeah. bringing, bringing things out of you. You know, it's kind of part of his. I gift. know. That's why I always ask the the first time somebody meets with him, did he make you cry? because <laughs> it seems to be a common theme actually um and then the other one of the other things rob you were talking about when you're looking for people <clears throat> or you know when people are doing their message like their their whatever their soundbite i'm always looking for people to with potential for partnerships you know something that i can collaborate with um and do something maybe in the future maybe not but at least talk to them about what they do get an idea of, is this something that we could use? Or more importantly, is this something that they can do that I hate doing for me? Cause I'd, I'd gladly pay them to do something um, like market. I hate marketing. I hate it. It takes up so much of my time. Um, even though you see me posting all over the place that that took a long time for me to become intentional with that. Yeah. But it's just like, who can I work with to help me focus on what I really like doing? And the only thing that I should be doing is talking to people, sharing my messages, people not doing marketing, not doing all this other BS. Um, so if you know anybody who wants to help me with that, let me know. <laughs> we got people for that. You, See, know what? Yeah. I want to ask, right. you got a person for everything. That's I want right. To ask people to put in the chat. Do you know what Dave does or do you know who Dave is looking for? <laughs> Dave do. Yeah, what Put it in Dave the chat. Do? What does Dave do and who is he looking for? That, that's a really good question. And I've used Dave, uh, Dave, I've used you as an example when I'm talking to people who um, usually they're in these seats that are very common, you know, very high competition. Um, they're very common to every single chapter, and I'm, I don't want to give it away, but they're going, you know, I can't visit other chapters because of what I do. I'm always a conflict with somebody. And I said, well, I said, while I hear what you're saying, we actually have somebody who's extremely effective at networking. And if he were to announce what he did, he could not go to a single other chapter because his seat's already taken. And they're like, oh, my, they're always intrigued. And I said, you need to talk to Dave Hauser. And I don't even tell him. So this is precisely why Dave is here. Intentional networking, right? Yeah. Listen to this, people. Intentional. Dave is I'll, very intentional. I'll give you. A, I'll give you an example of why I like nurses. Why? Why? Uh, and I'll just let the cat out of the bag. Every but, guy likes nurses. I married one. No, no, no. <laughs> so this is this is the this is my reason for going and wanting to talk to nurses. Um, and I heard this story, and it just. It's a powerful story, um, but the last part is what really sucked me in, right? So imagine a seven-year-old boy is walking out of the grocery store, runs ahead to the car. He's ready to get in there to dig into the groceries. So he's waiting. He wants his mom and his brother to hurry up. Hurry up. I want to get this cookies in the bag or whatever. This is a true story. I heard this two weeks ago, um, and, I met the, and I met the gentleman. A truck somehow is pulls up rips by the boy the little boy but the, the guy jumps out to like put the mail in the mail slot or something like that but the truck started rolling back um it must have been in reverse because when he would jumped in he thought he hit the brake and he hit the gas 
and he and he ran this little boy over, lacerated his spleen, and <clears throat> and ripped his arm off. Oh my gosh! Right. That's 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 an incredible story. The most incredible part of the story is there. He he calls it the guardian angel was there because at the same time, walking out of the grocery store with his mom was a nurse and that nurse jumped into action, uh, did some triage, helped control the bleeding, had the wherewithal to tell somebody to run inside, grab a cooler stack of full of ice, get out here and put this boy's arm in there, save this guy's life. Right. And he's, he's alive and well, and and he's a like, that's an amazing story. Yeah. Wow. It's taken my breath away. So the, the nurse, a nurse, this could be a firefighter. These these people are like really super unique people. I wouldn't, I can't say I would be that person. But because she jumped in, she saved that guy's life. And it doesn't matter who he was. Right. It doesn't have, doesn't matter who that person was. They That's what they do. And that's why I love working with people like that. Right. Because they're out looking for everybody else who's who's got their back. Uh, oh, that just gave me chills, Dave. Wow. Wow. So, the heroes. so that, that, that leads me to another point that I had written down. Don't ever be afraid to tell your story. And I say that because that is my biggest mistake by far, not talking about me. And if you have an opportunity to share your story with people, you should be sharing those stories anything because you don't know when you're going to have a chance to talk to that person again, if ever. And if your story can resonate with somebody, it doesn't matter if you're going to get business out of it, but they're going to be like, Holy crap. That's amazing. Can I get to know you? Or, or you may be able to introduce them to somebody that is going through something else similar that they could help. Like Debbie Mann would be a perfect example, right? Somebody is having some type of problem um, and needs to talk to a therapist. Right. Okay. You know, you don't know who that is. Yeah. You never know who that is. So don't be afraid to share your story because that could change. That is what could change somebody's life. Yeah. I think and you have a more really more. impactful story yourself, Dave. So for those of you that haven't had that face to face with Dave, you know, he has an amazing story. But I'm you know, just learning how to tell my story. <laughs> you know, I always tell people because, you know, part of branding is is your story. Um, because a lot of people go, you know, what can I do to, to help me stand out? And I'm always like, look, I'm going to tell you one thing that I guarantee you nobody else has. You can use it tomorrow to attract business. And they're like, oh, what? I said, just tell your story. Because your sure. story is unique. The thing is, people start thinking, well, if I tell them all I do in business, they will hire me for that thing and i go no people don't hire businesses they hire people and they don't want to hire you until they understand that you know you're a little bit more vested in their problem than just hey i've got a solution for whatever it is your problem is i'm going to solve it it's you know you connect with people you don't connect with businesses so it's a great point dave so when so when people uh uh, rob i I told you this the other day and I, i posted this on my facebook page too but so don't this is, I'm, I'm working on this. I'm trying to always work a story into something because people are going to be interested in your story. So when some, next time somebody says, what's your favorite color? You know, if everybody could tell me what their favorite color is, that'd be great too. But and and most people are going to say, yeah, red, red. We're going to put blue. Um, oh, is yours red, Rob? No. No, I'm just yeah. saying if everybody can put it in the chat with their favorite. Oh, yeah. Color. Put in your, your favorite color. And Dave asked me. It was kind of a curveball. But Dave said, what's your favorite color? I'm like, it's orange, Dave. I'm like, everybody knows me. Like, it's always orange. I know. But I know. Hey, I got my orange color. shirt, too, man. So I, uh, I got my Surpro orange on. So I'm with the two of you, too. So, so, actually, two, so my, two quick two quick things, right? Um, so I'm, I'm reading a book, Be Different, by Mike Michalowicz. And he makes up. He, he shares this story, how to be different. If you had a table full of apples, would you be able to pick out the best red delicious apple on that table? No. Nobody's going to be able to do that. No. However, if you put an orange on that 
on that table of apples. Hey, could you pick out the best orange on that? Could you pick out something that's different on that? The orange is going to stand out, right? Sure. That's why you want to tell the story like that. So getting back to the color, <laughs> Barry, glad you asked. So here's, here's my story. I was in the Azores and pulled up into this long church or this church that's been uh, like a, a historical site. But then I'm walking out to like this cliff and I see this guy on this, on this cliff and he's halfway down. I don't know how the hell he got down there, but he's fishing. And then I look down into the ocean and the waves are crashing. You have the white wash up, up against the rocks. But then I start seeing a color blue, like my, like my sweatshirt. And it starts going out and fading out. And I don't, I've never seen a blue like that. I've never seen a blue that color. But that's just the blue starts fading out. Then I start saying, oh, that's that's the blue that I know. That's that's the blue that I thought was my favorite color. It's like that navy blue color. But then you look out way out in the ocean, and it looks like it's almost like a wine color. It's mm. blue, purple. It's just it's peaceful. So blue is blue is my favorite color because it makes me reminds me of that scene and how at peace I was in my life at that at that moment. And I like I like sharing that with you. That's cool. No, I love that. Cool. Thank you for sharing that with, that with us. Cool. We got people putting in the chat all their favorite colors. <laughs> and I think purple seems to be one of the most popular colors, believe it or not. Well, I have color. to be honest with you, you know, blue it's and purple great. are my favorite color. It's a great color. But you know, so don't don't ever be afraid to tell your story. Yeah. And absolutely. and create a story because the, the story is gonna be what people want to hear. Yeah. And, and you know, then you're going to, then you're going to be able to remember. share, you know, people, people want to get confused with what you do and who you are. Right. Cause what you do, maybe your insurance, maybe you, you're doing branding. That's not really who you are. Right. right? So that's, by the way, by the way uh, I want to, I just want to point out that not a single person put in the chat what Dave does. Oh, oh yeah, no, they, no, they Are you did. You guys kidding me? No, they did. I saw. No, Christian they movie. didn't. I didn't see it. Don't say it, Dave. Don't say it. <laughs> I want to see who puts in the chat first. What no, Dave no. actually does. I thought Krishnuski did. No, he knows you're looking for nurses. We all know that. But no, but I don't. What think does so, Dave so. do? Come on, come on. We want to hear. Somebody, somebody, somebody put it. I saw it. Not yet. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Not yet. My chat, my chapter, my my, my my chapter would be the one, the one group that really doesn't know though, because I don't ever give my sound bite. Because <laughs> <laughs> you forget all the time, right? <laughs> I'm going by oh, so so Tina Malam says finances. Okay, yep. kind of right, right? They would yep. just say finances is what you do. Uh, no. I... no, no, that's so. Somebody no, somebody got it though. Somebody got it. I think Chris did say financial planning. No. Is that what you do? No. We got a couple people here. So who's most dead on? Call it Dave. You two tell us. Uh I got I, I I saw it in there, way up there. Um yeah, Christian says looking for ICU nurses. Wait, you gotta scroll up though. No, no, no. What do you no, do? We, what do you oh, what do, do I do? do? Not who oh. you're looking for, what do you do? And Barry just hit the nail on the head, right? Well, not really. Not really. <laughs> so what I do is I organize people's lives, um, not just not just their financial lives, but we help them set goals to achieve. And I've been doing this for 25 years, right? It, I just happened to be a college coach at first. And now I help people understand how to maximize the four freedoms that they want in their life. And those four, four freedoms are your freedom of your time, your money, your relationships, Right. You want to be able to work with who you want and and the and the freedom to pursue your purpose. Why are you put on this planet? Yeah. You know, what is your purpose behind that? So and when you're when well, you can do those things. Do. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? So still nobody knows what you do, right? Because well, what, what I'm getting at is this. So people like they need a frame of reference, right? So they go like this. Um, so what do you do? And they want to hear something, they want to hear the category. Because they don't understand anything else. So it's like when I tell people when they come in the chapters, if a new person wants to come in and they're going and look, 
I get where you're coming from, right? Because you, you're doing is you're solving a problem, right? This is why you're effective what you do, because you're looking for people to connect you with the people who have this problem and you can solve it. I'll, 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 really I'll, throw, you, I'll throw another loop in there. Yeah. I changed my seat to cash flow expert. Ah. Oh, I okay. like that. Because ultimately what we want to do is help that nurse create another stream of income to lower her tax imprint from her W-2 job so that she can actually enjoy the quality of life that she's looking for and have two streams of income. All right. Right. So you can be an intentional networker. You can get what you want and still not have a specific category that people can reference. Right. So if people, when people go, Hey, look, um, you know, what I do is this. And a lot of times this makes people shut down because they go, Oh, I know what that is. Yeah. Right. And I, I don't, and need they to don't know really anymore. know what that is. Right, right? Right. So what Dave's saying is, well, he's not going to, he doesn't want to identify with that thing. Cause you're wrong. <laughs> I know you think you know what it is, but it's not, here's what I actually do. So Dave's carving his niche he's saying this. And is again, very intentionally, yeah. I might add. Right. Yeah. So very the, intentionally. The, the thing, the thing that I've really learned over the last three years is I'm not like everybody else. Well, that's for sure. Like, and everybody that's on this call is unique. So if we're unique, I want to be the orange on the apple pile. Yep. Right. And I don't want to have the same message that everybody else has. Right. Because then you're just lumped into the red delicious apple, which are not my favorite apples anyway. I got to go to what Gene says. You can't reduce Super Dave to a label. It sounds like you keep <laughs> Dave in the corner. <laughs> Right. Right. Super Dave to a label. What's wrong with you? Don't put him in the corner. <laughs> no label for Dave. You're crazy. That's funny. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh my God. Well, this yeah. has been amazing, Dave. Yeah. Oh wow. We're at 753 already. We you don't know what? I want people up. to put in the chat right now. What golden nugget did you just get from what Dave just taught us all? Yeah, that was really good. So there's a lot in there. And look, we only had 20 minutes with Dave. To, to get some of this across, but I hope you're, you're learning something from this because if you can capture the essence of what he's saying, and that's, you know, what you're looking for. So what Dave's really famous for is everybody knows who Dave is looking for. Now, it doesn't matter whether or not you understand what Dave does. Dave doesn't care if you really understand unless he's sitting across from you necessarily. But as long as you know what Dave is looking for, Dave gets what he needs. So right. Like Every time you hear a nurse, I'm like, oh, got to connect them with Dave. Do, yeah, have absolutely. them talk to Dave. Have Have you talked to Dave? Have you spoken to Dave yet? I don't know. Why does he want to talk? I have no idea, but he needs you. <laughs> <laughs> he needs you. Dave needs you. So so one more thing, though. Um, parting thought, Dave, before we get it. The parting thought is the introduction, getting the introduction. Always make sure you're introducing the person to the person you're referring to. Right. Don't just hand it off. Mm -hmm. Right. It's so much smoother when a they warm know introduction. Absolutely. Yep. A warm, warm introduction. introduction. It's critical. Yes. Critical. I agree. agree. Well, thank you, Dave, for coming on. That was awesome. Ah, time it, flew man. by. Time flew by. And I uh, appreciate you making the time to come on and, and share your wisdom for intentional networking. We have to say goodbye now. So thank you for coming. We Thanks, Dave. In the Zoom we appreciate you. you. Uh, Dave, take care. And we're going to start wrapping this thing up. It's Steph. What oh my goodness, here? I can't believe how the time just flew, Rob. It just flew. Big so time. another big shout out to Dave. Like, thank you so much. Thank you for parting all of that wisdom on all of us. Um, I hope you all in the chat got some amazing takeaways and I'd love to see them in the chat. So put in there what your big takeaways were. Um, again, a big shout out to Renee Pride for giving Rob and I the opportunity to do this on the Master Networks Inc. page. A big yeah. shout out to Tina Campbell, our New York, uh, Connecticut regional partner. Yep, absolutely. But most importantly, a big shout out to all of you that are here tonight putting comments in and engaging with us because it's really you guys that make this what it is. Without you, all of you coming and supporting and putting your comments or questions in the chat,
this would not be what it is. Right, Rob? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, you guys really make this possible, which is why we're always saying, like, don't just come here to support us. And we do appreciate that. But I want you to come here. We want you to we want to bring you into this. We want to bring you in the conversation as best we can. And we want to hear the questions that we ask. We want to hear your viewpoint. Like this goes back to the contribution core yeah. value of the core values and that culture. It's what do you have to say about this? Which is why I'm constantly, you know, wanting to put everybody, you know, showcase your what you're saying, what you're contributing here. Um, that's part of this whole thing. So bring more people, spread the word of this. Let's get more people involved because here's the thing. As Steph and I do this, one of the things we're intentionally doing is our surprise guests, if you've noticed, like we could bring on so many people that are so well known, right? Between Steph and myself and, and other leaders, um, we can bring on high profile leaders in our organization. And we're purposely not doing that for a good reason. We're doing that because we want to be able to give you a platform. If you've got something to say, if you we want to be heard, we want you on here. So, and not that these people are 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 not um, great or high performance or anything. They're just not in a high visibility capacity. So we want to help give you guys, raise you up, give you that platform to be able to speak and get some of that visibility. Because look, we all know you're out there. You've got your business. You've got your job. You got the thing you're endeavoring. And we want to help you be able to get there. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, it. we hope that we're bringing all of you value, right? That's my, that's, that's our goal here uh, in, in, as, as for this, for this build it through culture. It's for Rob and I to bring you guys value. We hope that you see the value and that you share the value with others, right? So if you haven't shared this to your page yet, share it to your page. Rob, I think you got to play the song again. Play the song. It's getting really dark in my house. Can you tell? I feel <laughs> like I'm in a there? dungeon all of a sudden. Like a power outage or something. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. I, know. I, don't I know, feel like are, I need to turn the light on. We are going to start closing this up. <laughs> but, um, you know, we want to, again, tell you, ask you, please like the Master Networks page. Um, next episode coming up is episode number 15. Can you believe we, this is going to be the 15th episode that's going on here. It's going to be May 19th. Topic to be determined. We don't know yet. Yeah. So keep your eye out. Look for those graphics. And, and hey, you know, look, if ever you guys have a topic that you would like for us to discuss, reach out to us. Let us know or put it in the chat. Because, you know, again, we, we are constantly looking for, for feedback from all of you. Yeah, absolutely. So crank it that, up a little. Crank, crank, crank it up, up a little bit more. So, so with that, I hope you enjoy the music. I hope you enjoy the fun. I hope you had a great time here. Uh, we enjoy being with you every two weeks. Come back on May 19th. You'll get the posts that come out. We want to say good night to everybody. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. We will see you in two weeks. Spread love wherever you go, people. Spread the love. And just remember... Care about what others care about. And if any, if you know the name of the song, put that in the chat too. Woohoo! Good night, everybody. Good night.